San Francisco Chronicle, the LA Times, the Chicago Tribune, and I sent three letters of this letter, three copies, to the LA Times, I mean the New York Times. I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if it was a good idea, but I did a lot of praying, and I read Habakkuk that said, you, I'm pretty sure he was talking about, to Habakkuk, but I think since God was also talking to, since he was talking to Habakkuk, I think he was also talking to uh, us who understand the vision, or at least we think we understand the vision, of the end times. And when it says, it says, write the vision on tablets so that he who reads it will run. No one's running right now, but maybe uh, that will fulfill scripture when people, if, they, if it makes it into the newspaper, which I don't think it, I think, I don't think God really wants it to, but at least I can say that when I smelled smoke, I, I warned people that it looked like the end times was near uh, because of the situation in the Persian Gulf right now. Of course, I'm probably wrong. I've been wrong many times before. But millions of letters get to the New York Times, millions of letters get to the uh, Tribune, and thousands get to the B and the Union. But, but, if God wants people to know, they will know. If not, I'm leaving it totally in God's hands. But, if it does, make it into any kind of newspaper. This is what the people will read when they read it. Okay, it starts off like this. Am I insane, or are the events in the Persian Gulf the unfolding of Bible prophecy? I report this because events seem to correspond with Jeremiah 50 and 51. In those two chapters, Jeremiah sees the destruction of Babylon and Chaldea, where present-day Iraq and Kuwait now exist. From nations that, from nations, yet yeah, in those two chapters, Jeremiah sees the destruction of Babylon and Chaldea, where present-day Iraq and Kuwait now exist. From nations that are put in array round about it, like America and other nations are now doing to Iraq. What adds to this amazing coincidence is Jeremiah 51, 7, which seems to hint that the reason the nations have gathered around Babylon is because of wine. This sounds absurd, but according to Revelation 6, 6, famine is brought about due to the hurting of the oil and the wine. It says hurt not the oil and the wine, but I think it means that it's gonna, I think that's us saying don't hurt the oil and the wine. I think that means it does get hurt, which brings about famine. This tells me that the nations aren't gathered around Babylon because of wine, but because of gasoline, since it's gas that enables us to truck food to stores. If what is taking place in the Gulf is the unfolding of Bible prophecy, then I feel we should really pray for our loved ones in Saudi Arabia. According to Jeremiah 50 and 51, Babylon is totally destroyed due to its destruction of Zion which includes Kedar, where northern Saudi Arabia now is. Read Jeremiah 49. Also, in the writings of Nahum, Nahum and Habakkuk, the weapons used in the region seem to make chemical weapons pale in destruction capability. Read those passages and see what you think. Anyway, It'll be interesting to see if God allows this letter. I, I, I made 12 copies, and I've sent 11 off. This is one of the copies that I made. And it will be interesting to see if, because I've done things like this before. Of course, I never sent letters to newspapers. And I never, <laughs> it's always been in vain because no one, I haven't heard it. I haven't, Nothing about my ideas 
ever said. I've done, I've made thousands of copies of other things, put them on wind chills and stuff. Nothing ever happened. Nothing ever came of it. If it did, it was very silent. But this time, who knows? Maybe, maybe it's the end times. Maybe this will warn people and fulfill that scripture in Habakkuk 2.2. I don't know. But I had to say something. When I smelled smoke, I had to warn people. Even though there may not be smoke, like there hasn't been anything ever since. I was wrong with Reagan. I was wrong with um, the Persian Gulf situation with the guy who told a comedian. And I'll probably be wrong with this. But it'll be interesting.